We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. It's been a few days since I've done this. Um, let's hope I haven't lost the knack. But uh, this evening, uh, I'm going to show you something new from BVB, Barnes Vape Boxes, uh, Jamie. Uh, and it's called The One. And it's, uh, once again, it's a, a 3D printed uh, make mod, Squonker. And it's uh, pretty damn clever. Now I've shown you most of Jamie's work over the years and yes I've said many times I am a bit of a fan I like the stuff he does because it's not just a box yet you know if you say 3D printed squonking to a lot of people they just have a vision of a box with a contact strip and, and, and that's it uh, Jamie's squonkers have always been I just think he thinks outside the box and he uses 3D printing which is a fantastic tool and he uh, yeah he uses it to its full extent and I really like that and I respect that and this is his latest one and I'm going to just go straight for close-ups because I'm rambling already close-ups as always we've got the the classic little flight case you know it's all padded in here inside you're going to find the mod itself now once again this is a 3d printed mod uh, it is not printed at home or anything like that this is a multi-jet print uh, which is a higher quality than say maybe you would expect from somebody that's using a printer at home uh, also it has been you know put through a tumbler which gives it a far smoother finish than you would normally see from a 3d print the price for this is you're looking about hundred and ten pounds uh, we do and we're, what we'll do is we'll take it to bits drink like that you do have silver contacts going on here this is the the mod maker 510 I'm pretty sure it's the the mod maker 510 micro uh, but you have a contact strip running right through here and as always it's yeah it's it's done oh so well uh, and and if there's any juice or anything here I apologize because I have been using it but this is just the internals but the, the main thing is that the firing button firing buttons on the top it's very unusual, very unusual, and I'll talk more about this at the end, uh, but it's, it's also angled as well, um, which makes it extremely comfortable to vape with, uh, this button here. Now you will see here that we have a sleeve, and uh, hopefully you will notice you've got the BVB logo there, and we have one down here, uh, and this basically just slips on like so. Doink. And I love the way he's done this. Just, you know, having that on the carrier system, but with this sleeve having one there. It's done really, really well. Uh, now, uh, you can also buy, the, he's got the classic Vorb, uh, Vorb fish. Remember, this is this is my, my little, this is one of the BVB or original ones. This was a present from Todd. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, but you can see it's the classic styling. Now this doesn't actually come with a bottle, but uh, I've got a, this is an Arctic Dolphin squonk bottle I've got here. I think it's a 7ml capacity and fits in there no problem. So there's 7ml of juice straight away. I'm going to pop on one of these uh, Ohm Life batteries that I'm still using. I'm putting the positive down so it sits like that. And this is the strange one. Now uh, I'll use this body here. Now once again, remember, uh, that slides on like that and you will notice straight away that if I hold this upright that just falls out now it turns out that what is holding this in place is your actual atty so if I take my skyfall here uh, and just screw this down you want to screw it right down you can now see that you have one solid mod you know the, the internal system isn't going anywhere if you want to put more juice in if you want to change your battery out then yes you do have to take this atty off like so here we go just as quick as i can and that's you you're in and good to go so for some people they might think that that's a negative but uh, the other thing i will point out is that uh, you can see here that this is 22 millimeters in diameter you're not going to go any bigger than that and I would say that it's not really designed for smaller atties either because obviously um, and I'll have to take this off again sorry if you look here you can see that you know if your atty 
isn't actually, you know, on the outside, you know, it's got to come out to here, your atty, because if it doesn't, it's just going to keep falling down like that. So, yeah, it's really designed for 22mm RDAs, uh, but that's not an issue for me, I must admit. The actual height for the mod is about 74mm, but that is not including the button at the top. I've not included that. And it's about 42, 43 across here, and yeah, 22 mil across the top. Uh, but that's enough for up here just now. Uh, I think we shall go and uh, have a vape. So once again, just a quick sum up. So it's about 110 pounds. Uh, you're looking at 35 pounds if you want to go for the classic Vorb body as well. Um, it is multi-jet printed, a multi-jet 3D print, and it's been tumbled which gives it that really, really smooth finish. Uh, we do have a top firing button going on here. Uh, I will say that it is perhaps my most favorite firing button on a 3D printed squonker I've ever come across to use. And I'm talking thumb firing, or you can also, if you want, you can finger fire it. Uh, it is superb. It's a really short throw on it, and it's very light. There's no locking function on this one, so be aware of that one. You don't lock it. Uh, so if you want to lock it, you're going to have to back off your atty, basically. And if you back off your atty, then, you know, just a few turns back there, and you can see that it's now does that. Uh, because remember, your atty is holding everything together. Uh, I like that design, because, you know, you're keeping it to a 22mm body. Uh, yes. I do like it. It takes a bit of getting used to. Trust me, in the first couple of days I had this, I won't tell you how many times I undid the atty and the body just came right onto the floor. But uh, after using it for a week, yeah, it's sick and it's not a problem now. We are using the, the Mod Maker uh, 510 on this. silver out. We've got silver 999 contact strip going through this and it vapes like this. That's a 0 0.36 ohm uh, coil from PC Coils, and uh, it, it performs great on the Skyfall here. And and yes, that that is pretty much it. I'm I'm sure Jamie mentioned something about uh, maybe getting extra buttons done here as well. Um, I like this squonker a lot. Uh, yeah, because of the design, because of the sleeves, I mean, we've seen sleeves on other squonkers in the past, but the way that he's tying it all together with the, the actual atty, on one hand is really, really clever. Um, if you have an atty or a, an RDA that has a loose top cap, it's not going to work that great on here. Uh, if you think about it, if your top cap is really loose, then yeah, you could have problems. It's got to be a tight fitting top cap so that it holds the entire mod together. So that's possibly one con. No locking button. For some people that may be a con. Uh, anything else? It um, doesn't come with a bottle, but that's... No squonker should come with a bottle in the UK, or it should just be a 2mm one. Uh, uh, but that's it. Have another buff. And that's it. That's all I've got for you for the one. And I'm just quickly changing bodies here again, just to show you this again, because I love what he's done there. Just that, you know, putting the holes through the sleeve, showing off the logo and the carrier system. It's just a, a really nice touch. Um, yes. Nice squonker, this. It's different. It's different. It's not a box, which is a two thumbs up from me. Um, if you are interested in this, once again, it's about £110. Uh, extra sleeves are £35. Uh, go along to the BVB uh, Facebook group and uh, you can get in touch with them through there. But that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you once again, Jamie, for sending this on. Uh, to you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.